coffee shop. So I'm in um, just outside of Hansamon Station. Um, I'm doing another cafe hopping vlog. The place that I'm going to this this afternoon is a kisaten. So it's like a coffee shop, uh, a Japanese coffee shop. Um, and there they have things like uh, coffee. I know for the siphon coffee, Japanese pasta, napolitan. I'm not sure if you tried. Um, and they also have sandwiches, toasties. Um, but what I'm going there for is the um, hotakeki, which is really yummy actually. I'm really hoping that they still have the strawberry hot cake because it's quite nice and I fancy I fancy something jammy. So I'll take you into the cafe. Uh, hopefully I can show you what's what. I don't actually have a lot of time <laughs> so I'm hoping that I get get some food as I'm starving. But um, yeah I'll show you the cafe when I'm there. Bye! <laughs> I'm sitting in the entrance of like a solo bar school place area and I'm like right opposite where they're making the coffee because coffee candy is um, quite normal for the siphon coffee and I don't know much about coffee but it looks like it's where I've got like this glass siphon and it seems like they pour the water and like bubbles up into the beaker above and then they like put the coffee ground coffee <laughs> um, and then water but uh, it's quite fun I'm sitting here and watching, watching the I think barista which put in the barista making the coffee I'm going to cook getting quite nice I've got my my cakey I think it's come in time it's 10 past 3 so it's like 2 I came at like 2.45 I'm being busy the whole time, so this is a busy time for me. I'm going to turn the top down, so excuse me while I pick out the next
Because it's straight into meat from really quickly. I ate that meat really quickly. Before. And then five minutes later. <laughs> anyway. Oh, and it was only 800 yen. I think I've always paired it with a drink before, so it's a little bit more expensive, but that was really good. I think I mentioned before but Kohi Kan is, is a co Kisitan coffee shop chain all over Japan and I mean it depends on which which one you go to but like there I waited for like 35 minutes for my food to come excuse me while I run to work um, but yeah but the food is on the whole really good and it's 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 Japanese cafe food so you can get like parfaits melon soda Hot cakey pancakes. <laughs> um, you can also get uh, spaghetti, so the Napolitan is quite popular, and sandwiches and toasties. So it's a really good all rounder and it gives you those like um, Kisaten coffee shop vibes. Um, but yeah, I would totally recommend. They have one in Shinjuku, they think they have one, so either one I went to is a handsome one. Um, Shibuya, it's in all the main areas. Um, but yeah, and really affordable. Anyway, I will see you probably tomorrow. <laughs> It's a vegan cafe here in Yoyogi. It's called the Nut Exchange Cafe. It's about like a couple of minutes walk from Yoyogi Hachi Station, and I'm coming from Yoyogi Koen Station, and it's about, I'm assuming it's gonna be like a five to seven minute walk. Um, but yeah, so it's a vegan cafe. I've never actually been, um, but based on their Instagram, they seem to have like a lot of uh, savory, so um, I think it's like an English muffin burger pate. I couldn't tell, it looked like Burger. It was like an English muffin burger sandwich. They had like a burger patty, so I'm not unsure. Um, they also had other savouries, so like um, pastas, salads, that kind of thing. But yeah, and I think they also had a few patisserie things, but I couldn't couldn't really tell. Um, but after yesterday's coffee shop break, <laughs> um, I'm trying to be a bit healthier today. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. From what I've seen on the Google um, images and stuff and the reviews, it looks like it's a really cute small cafe. It's got like a wooden aesthetic and their crockery is what got me I think <laughs> um, hopefully it's good yeah, I'll show you what I get and um, tell you if it's worth it or not so I'll see you at the cafe bye hamburger set so it comes with hamburger two sides 
and they had three sides to choose from basically cold salads and one had more of a like um, smoky tomatoey flavor and then the other one was a bit more mayo-y and then the hamburger that I had was was a cheese one it had pickles and mustard and ketchup in and it's quite nice um, I normally can't actually take mustard <laughs> and I think this might have been like an American mustard which in the spectrum of mustards is on the more um, it's the weaker side of, of mustards <laughs> I hope I'm not offending anyone here um, but yeah I mean I would totally recommend it I'm not like overstuffed I'm just right and I hadn't eaten for like um, maybe four hours beforehand so it's like a it's either like a, a substantial snack or it's like a light lunch I would say <laughs> light lunch light dinner it was about 1400 for the set not cheap but not expensive um, and I definitely feel healthy <laughs> tomorrow I think I'm going to a coffee house again either a coffee house or a cafe it's a Japanese style so I will see you tomorrow and um, show you what I get and where I go bye Hello, so just finished a bit of work and I'm on my way to a coffee shop called Cafe uh, Tapirosu, Cafe Tapirosu and I actually quite like this place, it's here in Roppongi. Um, I've gone to her a couple of times before. The food's good, so it's a, it's a Japanese coffee shop or kisate. So they sell things like omu rice, I think Japanese curry. They also have um, a lot of sweet treats, um, so like uh, tarts, scones. Food is good, um, but I mainly go for the vibes, really. <laughs> it's a really cute place, and the crockery they use is really sweet. It, this cafe is been open for about 30 years, I think, and the man who owns it is really, really sweet. Every time I've gone, it's only really been him. Um, but yeah, it's got really homey vibes. Apparently, the seats are from an old church in the UK, and they're about like 100 years old. I don't know, if, if, you, if you're going to visit a coffee shop in, in Japan or in Tokyo, and you really want that, like old-fashioned Showa era Japanese cafe. This is the coffee shop or cafe that you should go to. I highly, highly recommend this one. I will see you when I get there. Bye. scones and I also had homemade cake. A bit like a mocha, mocha flavoured chiffon cake. It was very pleasant and the um, the cream didn't have a strong sweet flavour to it so um, yeah it was nice. I'm sure if you saw the scones. <laughs> so thing to know if you're an English person. 
<laughs> the scones, it doesn't cook, he didn't bring it with um, clotted cream. He brought it with just uh, whipped cream, <laughs> which I forgot about. <laughs> and so I was shocked all over again. Um, but it was good though, all in all it was about 1,800 yen. 15 pounds or just under 15 pounds. I would totally recommend that cafe just to get like those, those like cute, not super Showa era period, 80s <laughs> Japanese vibe. Hopefully you enjoyed this cafe hopping vlog. Um, I will link my last cafe hopping vlog um, sort of over here. I shared one of my favorite cafes. It's like super cozy vibes. Anyway, I'll leave a link to that video here. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope we see you again. Bye!